these animals are among the most popular exhibits at the Cologne Zoo. Until recently, the hippopotamuses were kept in this building, the former elephant house. For decades, bars and tiles were standard elements of the zoo enclosures. They are practical because they're easy to clean. But times have changed. Nowadays, a zoo environment is considered suitable if it encourages the animals to express normal behaviour. Hippos spend most of their time in the water. This tiny pool hardly offered them enough room. So there was an urgent need for new housing. Moving day. The hippos were loaded into large containers to be transported to their new home. Zoo director Theo Pagel did much to ensure that 12 million euros could be invested in the new facility. The result is known as the Hippodome, an enclosure that may be unique in Europe, offering the animals inside and outside areas. Pargel hoped his hippos would soon overcome their mistrust of their new surroundings. Hippopotamuses are creatures of habit. But it didn't take too long for them to warm up to their new home. Above all, thanks to the large water basin. You can really see them taking over their enclosure and exploring their new surroundings. I think all of us here have the feeling that they genuinely like it and are happy. It's great to see. Pargel travels regularly from Cologne to Swaziland in southeastern Africa, which is home to many hippopotamuses. Their natural habitat is threatened by farming. As a result, the animals often destroy plantations, causing considerable damage. Working together with Swaziland's Big Game Trust, Pargel is involved in a project to capture and translocate the animals. This one's pretty big. It's probably an adult animal. It looks as though the entire herd is constantly going in and out here. That most likely happens at night, when the plant eaters come on land to look for food. And indeed, the spore leads to a herd of hippos. Because hippopotamuses can be very aggressive, the locals are wary of them. In Africa, more people are injured by hippos than by lions. The wildlife experts are using these steel containers to trap the animals. The hippos have settled among arable fields and the farmers are afraid they'll eat the crops. So they're to be moved to a national park. Swaziland still lacks special vehicles for transporting the animals. Pargel has pledged his support in a cooperation agreement. The Cologne Zoo will provide funding to assist in moving the hippos. It's an arrangement that will benefit both sides. If this promising start ends up becoming a good partnership, then we hope it'll continue long term. We're starting now with the hippo dome with crocodiles and hippopotamuses, and we'll certainly expand it. Maybe we'll make something for antelopes, for great cats, or rhinoceroses. Back in the Cologne Zoo's African riverscape, the hippos have become symbolic sponsors of their fellows in Swaziland. A powerful inducement for visitors to the Hippodome to dig deep in their pockets to support the Wildlife Protection Project in Africa.